Hello and welcome. My name is Miguel Almeida. I'm a research manager in the market intelligence team at Climate Bonds Initiative. And I'm going to do a quick tour of a very exciting data tool that we've been developing over the last year or so and are now officially launching, which is our interactive data platform that you can see here. You can access it under market intelligence on our website. And this is the first sustainable debt data tool of its kind in the world. It essentially allows you to analyze the sustainable debt market by applying data filters that you can see on the left here, which I'll we'll go over in a moment, and generates interactive charts as well as an interactive map uh, and with the data downloadable in CSV format so you can easily use it. And on top of all this, it's a tool that's at your, at your fingertips for free. We really intended this to be a public good and to support the growth and development of the markets, which ultimately is our mission. Uh, and so that's what we've been developing. So let's have a little look at what the tool actually allows you to do. The first filter we have is the theme. So whether we want to look at green, social or sustainability bonds. We've, of course, been tracking the green bond market for several years now uh, and have recently started tracking the social and sustainability bond market. So we felt it would be good to include that here. These are also defined in accordance with the, the, the database methodologies we have available on our website. So have a look at those for more detail. We have not yet uh, included performance linked instruments such as sustainability linked bonds and loans, but we may add that in the future. We then have years. So what period do you want to look at with the data? We have years between 2014 and 2020 and have recently added 2021 H1. The plan is to really update this at least on a semi-annual basis, potentially uh, even quarterly. And then total is all historical data sets. So the, the, the years including pre-2014 up to 2021 H1. Next up, we have metric. How do you want to look at the market? Do you want to look at amount issued, number of deals, and number of issuers? There are significant differences between them usually. Uh, for social and sustainability bonds, we actually haven't added a number of deals and issuers, so just the amount issued as of now. And then you've got your geographical filters. So do you want to look at individual regions? If I click on Europe, the map zones is on Europe and the charts below that also refer to Europe only. You can then also filter out developed markets, for example, as well as supranational entities and just look at emerging markets. And then you have a reset button, which takes you back to the initial filters. In terms of charts, we have uh, quite a few. So firstly, geographical ones. Firstly, a regional one, as well as uh, a market. You can look at also individual countries within the regional one uh, for, for the given you know, region that you've selected here. And then you've got cumulative data. So the, the year is total, but the, the data is shown for individual years. So if I click on cumulative, it gives me the total for all years. And then you can see the CSV download buttons there, which will generate that data for you in Excel format. We then have issuer type. So the, this is defined, of course, in accordance with our um, classification of issuer types. You can see if I click on social, for example, the, the mix of issuer types changing significantly there. Same for sustainability bonds, where, which have been largely financed by development banks, or issued rather. Let's go back to green. So for green, we also have an analysis of use of proceeds, which is quite interesting uh, and requested by many stakeholders. We don't have that for social sustainability bonds yet. We have currency, which is available for all themes. And then finally, deal size, to give you an idea, according to our brackets uh, there, of what profile uh, of deal sizes exists in the market. And that's essentially it. You will also find quite a few notes here on the platform manual that will clarify a lot of questions you may have. So have a look at that if you have questions. Alternatively, you can also get in touch with us for questions or comments, feedback. Uh, and also if you're looking for to access deal and issuer level data, we have various partnership packages available, as I've mentioned, uh, and you can, you can get in touch via these channels. So have a look at the tool. We really hope you find it useful and, and are able to use it apply it for whatever your needs, and of course, get in touch with us. We're really looking forward to, to receiving your feedback. So thank you very much for your attention.